This is Head to Head, episode 6, 7, and 8. Who even knows at this point? What we have here is a very strange matchup. We have what appears to be David and Goliath. We have on this side the Ford Fiesta ST, a car that is very, very small in many, many ways. Small tires, small proportions, small engine. This is an inline three turbo. I think the either 1.0 or 1.2 liters versus the Chargers 6.4 liter naturally aspirated V8. And the two cars sound very different. Obviously, the Charger looks the part and sounds the part, whereas the Fiesta ST, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. You know, doesn't really, doesn't really compare. But where the Fiesta ST and the seems to make up for things. I mean, relative to the Challenger, which is the closest comparison, you know, it may appear that the Charger slash Challenger has better acceleration and top speed, and, well, obviously you're correct, but I'm also a lot lighter. Like, almost 50% lighter. With better off-road and better control to boot. Let's see who'll win this drag race. Counting it on from three, two, one, go! Oh, he jumped the start! Oh, no! Oh, you asshole. Oh, that's not very nice. Oh, you... Oh. Oh, no. I mean, I don't think it was... I don't think it would have mattered. The Fiesta ST, it just doesn't have... It doesn't have the torque to get itself... See, that makes sense, actually. This doesn't have the torque to get itself going anyway. This is a 1.0 inline 3 turbo. By definition, it's not going to have a lot of power down low. Wow, that was very embarrassing. Let's see how she, let's see how we do from a roll. From a roll, the, the Fiesta does a lot better because the Charger has a lot more problems with drag resistance and other things. And both cars seem to handle dirt to tarmac well, but the Fiesta handles it better. Better ground clearance, obviously being lighter, helps a lot here. And see, in the turns is where the Fiesta really starts to redeem itself. Even really gentle turns. Watch this. Oh, that's uh. I'm going to cut that out. I'm going to slow down so I can catch up. Charger seems to have uh, gone a little off course. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> anyway, welcome back to Head to Head Episode 7. Now see, on the really, really long straightaways, however, there you reach points of diminishing returns with the Fiesta. It simply runs out of steam, but for a while, it will beat the Charger in the... In the very tight terrain, and even the, the, the even the slightly tight terrain. But eventually, he will pull ahead. I believe this thing runs out of, runs out of speed around 150 to 160, whereas the Charger, by default, will crack 170. Granted, it'll take all day to get there, but it will get there. And with upgrades, it'll get there faster, and it goes to closer to 185, which makes a huge difference, as you can imagine. Now, see, he has worse off-road rating. He doesn't handle the transition quite as well. Yeah, you're on the right. Ha-ha! Handling! And then you're gonna go, Top speed! <laughs> Once we hit this, this stupid Heflin bridge. Because I'm already starting to run out of steam. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm surprised the Charger loses all that speed in the dirt there. I expected a little bit better off-road rating from a car that's got better ground clearance. Well, not that much better ground clearance, but like, you get the idea. Anyway, it's very interesting seeing how on the road course, just how many times the lead changes. It's going to change again up here. So the charge is going to start running into its understeer. And just general lack of, you know, handling at any speed, especially at high speed. The steering on the Charger feels heavy. The car is heavy, and then the Fiesta starts to pull. But now, once again, top speed and is dictated by engine output more than drag coefficients. And so by 145, the Fiesta is... Really, really not doing very well. Wow, miraculously, we both had room to go through there. Oh, good. at least we don't have to take another cut of that, and nobody died. Charger will reliably push 180 plus all motor. With nitrous, you can possibly crack 195. Going downhill, preferably with the wind blowing at your back. But hey, you know, it's, it's a thought that counts. See if it can carry all that speed. Momentum is a two. Yeah, I can tell. That's right. The car's so hot. It's all over the Carfax. Right, so these turns are start off gentle, then they get tighter. Hopefully the Charger loses some speed here and I can catch up. 
I don't know, though. That lead he established early on, he, can carry, he carries more momentum through these turns. He's going to understeer a little bit, but I don't know. I, I, I think we've... I think the Chargers got, got going to get this, road, this the open road course. We'll see how the Fiesta does in the tighter road course. I have a feeling it's going to be a lot better, because the lead already changed a couple times during this race. But... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. Charger definitely is going to win this one. So we'll get off and hit red shift. We'll see. That'll be the more technical track where the Fiesta had better fucking redeem itself. Otherwise, you know, the marketing staff from Ford and the ST team is not going to be happy, and they will probably cut spending in press cars and never let us drive them again. We're supposed to show how superior small and less is. Show how much more less really is. and It's kind of hard to do that unless you win. Oh, well. I got off. Yeah, I know. I saw that. Oh, nice. Wow, really nice maneuvering. A nice tight dimensions. Really helps you in the tight, in the, in the tight terrain. I can already I can already see the Fiesta is going to win. I'm, I'm putting money down on this thing. Welcome back. We are, we've now, both cars have somehow without made it to the tighter, more technical road course without dying. Well, at least one of us has. Not really sure what happened to the Charger. It looks like a little worse for wear, but hey, you know, probably just it probably works fine. All right, we're gonna count it down: three, two, one, go! Oh yeah, there we go. When you don't jump the start, the Fiesta initially pulls ahead, and then by 80, it's gonna start to lose ground. Ah, oh, too fast, too furious over here. Oh my goodness, the the, the vibes, the feels. They're so strong. Charger definitely likes to go a little wide with these sections. I'm going to come on your right and pass up here. Oh, shit! No, I'm not. Okay, we're good. <laughs> One thing you notice as well, the Charger's weight and strength give it some nice advantages. Namely, you're not you're not going to push around a Charger very easily, especially not with a car like this. But now, once again, downhill and, and coming out of a turn. Nope. St still has me, though. Still somehow has me. Oh, shit. Oh, we both kind of messed that up, but the Fiesta, once again, I know. I, I still would have taken that faster. I have faith in my Fiesta. I have faith in my tight ass. Charger's going to start pulling up here, though. I mean, you can go ahead and pass over here if you want. It's going to be a little tight no matter what we do. Oh, look at that. Across four lanes, and the Charger understeers magically does not die. You know, a nice Mopar, heavy-duty plastic front clip there. Definitely doing its job. Oh, I just hit a wall. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's a very, very tight race here, even on the technical section. Like, you, again, you'd think the Fiesta would walk away here, but in between the turns, the Charger really comes back. It's, it's, it's incredible how a car that's so heavy, has so much understeer, just pulls through and makes shit work. It really, it really is a testament to SRT and Mopar performance as a whole. You know, a car that literally weighs, you know, 1,600 pounds plus more. Pulling any kind of speed through these turns is... It's astonishing. But is it astonishing enough to clasp victory from the jaws of defeat? This is the last lap. It's make it or break it time. Who's going to choke? Will it be the leader? It's a reference to a PS2 racing game that probably nobody here has played. Because it's awesome. It's called Test Drive Viva Destruction. And Jay Leto actually did the voiceovers for the announcement, which is really funny. He's awesome. Anyway, here we are once again at the typical problem with the Fiesta. And the longer the straightaway, the worse things get. Oh, shit. Dodged it. That was a little close. Whereas the Charger, he had... He just went through straight. He got me on the left. Wow! Yeah, he definitely benefited from that. He Charger's get definitely hitting its stride. But he's also hitting some walls, unfortunately. As am I. But... <laughs> See, now there's, it's interesting seeing the Charger taking risks. You know, on one hand, it's more it, it, you think it can do it because it's stronger, but on the other hand, it's also wider, so you're more likely to fail catastrophically. I don't think so, buddy boy. This is the Fiesta's hometown. Tight track. Beautiful 1-2 section there. Really, really showing off the Fiesta's maneuverability here. Oh, and it's understeer through the dirt. Now it's a little more pushed than I would have liked. Oh my goodness, that Charger's not letting up, though. As soon as the road opens up, he's gonna he's gonna make a move. To hell with traffic. Oh no! Oh no, I choked! Oh no! 
Oh, that actually happened. I mean, even if I didn't choke, I don't, I don't think it would have mattered. The Charger had a really, really good line there. He, he did just enough drift to get him some speed. Yeah, look at that. Wow, that is really not by as much as I thought. It's going to be a close race, and you know, that's, that's, that's what just goes to show here. The lead changed multiple times, but in the end, the Charger just, it just pulled through. But, you know, those long straightaways, there aren't many of them, but when they're there, the Charger makes up for it. So what you have is a two cars with very, very diametrically opposed, in a lot of ways, personalities. You have the, you know, Surgeon Scalpel, the lovely, sluggish, but extremely fun Fiesta ST. A car that you can quite literally dodge anything with, and cackle maniacally as you outmaneuver bigger, wider, fatter, but inherently faster cars. And on the other hand, you have the bonafide muscle sedan Charger SRT8, with its unbelievable top speed, with its surprisingly good power out of the hole, again, despite being heavy and lacking the, the power-to-weight ratio. It, it's, it seems to have turned into a Ford Raptor as well. It seems to have just morphed. But what you see is that the Charger, I, I, as, as soon as the road opens, I mean, by 80 miles per hour, and the Fiesta is losing the drag race. So again, only on the tightest of the tightest tracks where, where you have an acceleration advantage over the Charger. Now, granted, you're always going to carry more speed to the turns. You're always going to be able to dodge things better than the Charger. But the more open the track is, the, the worse it gets. And so, and Redshift is, pro is probably the second most technical track that we test our vehicles on. And the fact that the Charger still won there. Especially once the driver found the best lines for the Charger. It's all about being gentle, taking it wide, and taking it as straight as possible. It's a very point-and-shoot car, but stay on target. You can, you can beat cars that, really, you don't think you stood a chance against. This has been the Head to Head, Episode 7 or 8. I don't even know at this point. There's been so many. Transitions. I have a very sinking... Oh, <laughs> Okay, then. <laughs> anyway.